guys welcome back to another Sunday reset in today's video we are doing some batch cooking I'm doing some cleaning to get us ready for the week ahead I also have to organize a couple of spaces in my house and I'm sharing a little bit of my morning routine with you guys So it's not every Sunday that I will do my makeup and hair and get ready, but today is one of those days. I also wanted to include a little bit more of this self-care stuff or just my morning routine stuff, not necessarily self-care, but just some of the things that I use and what I do to get ready because I've been asked to share that. So I'm just quickly sharing it, but I will make sure to put the products that I use down in the description box just in case you guys were interested. I know a couple of you guys asked about my shampoo that I use because of the color of my hair and things like that so I will definitely link some of that stuff down below So we're gonna go ahead and dive into organizing my little cabinet here this is where I keep most of my skincare products and a few of my hair products and it's just been a mess and then I'm also gonna attack my cabinet down below and just get this organized I have a lot of things that I needed to just go ahead and trash just like old products that I'm not using um, and stuff that were like empty bottles and trash and things like that this is something I've been wanting to do and I knew if I did it on a Sunday that I will feel really good going into the next week. So if there's a space in your house right now that is cluttered and messy and it's a space that you use every day and it's been getting on your nerves, I challenge you to tackle it today. Even if it's not the whole space and it's just a portion of it, you will be so happy that you at least started. So if you've been watching my videos, you've seen in one of my recent videos, I did just declutter and reorganize the linen closet here in my bathroom. You don't have to do one whole room at a time. You can break it up into little sections like I just did the closet one day. Now I'm doing this cabinet and it's just whatever works for you. You don't have to put it all on yourself on one day and spend a whole entire day decluttering a space if you don't have time for that, if that does not work for you. But you will get further along with your home and getting it organized if you at least try to work on one small space at a time. So right here is the stuff that I am throwing away. Yay, I love seeing a bigger pile of things that I need to get rid of because I know I was just holding onto it and it was just making my space more cluttered. But I'm really happy with the under the sink cabinet. 
and I hope this gave you some motivation for you to tackle a space in your house. So now we're gonna get ready to do some batch cooking soon, but what I like to start out with is go ahead and figure out the ingredients that I'm gonna need for each of the meals, along with checking my pantry and my refrigerator and seeing what groceries that I might need to pick up to restock. I do this so I don't accidentally repurchase something that I already have in my kitchen. I will go ahead and leave the link to this weekly meal planner down below. I did get it from a Etsy shop and is super convenient. I'm just tearing off that paper there and taking that list to the store with me. So we're going to start cooking. This first recipe is an easy taco casserole recipe. I'm also going to link it in the description box along with the instructions on how to reheat it. I had someone that wanted me to actually explain how to reheat the foods when I do batch cooking or meal prep. So I'm going to try and do my best to do that. A lot of times I put it in the microwave, but some of these recipes you want to go ahead and just bake in the oven. So each recipe is different. So I'll make sure to put that in the description also. So the nice thing about some of these recipes I'm going to be showing you is not only will it cover two separate days of meals because I made enough for that, but I also make enough in one single meal that will carry over to the next day so we can have leftovers. So that is less cooking throughout the week, but still homemade meals. So what I'm doing here is just putting the food in these glass storage containers. These are oven safe and freezer safe. You can freeze your foods and then go ahead and also reheat and bake them in the oven when you're ready. So I'm just going ahead and adding tin foil on these until they cool down before I stick them in the freezer. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next recipe. That is a chicken, broccoli, bacon, and potato bake. I did not have any broccoli like I thought, so I definitely missed that when I was making my list. But this one's super easy to make and it was really, really good. And again, it's gonna give us two different days here, but there was actually enough to have leftovers. It does depend on how many people you're feeding in your family. So because my husband works out of state, it's just me and the kids mostly. So there's usually just three of us, but my son will usually have seconds and then we'll still have leftovers for the next day. But you can totally adjust the recipe according to the size of your family also. So what I'm doing here that makes life a little bit easier is I am writing the reheat instructions on tin foil. These dishes that I am freezing, they didn't have lids, so I just put tin foil over it. And so I'm just writing what is in this dish, the temperature that I'm going to bake it at when I reheat the food and how long, which I will make sure to add that also down in the description. So next we're gonna go ahead and make some Greek chicken. This is super easy to make you guys. I'm sure a lot of you guys make something close to this. It's really just about the seasoning.
So since we were cooking with a lot of meat today, I wanted to disinfect the sink before I cleaned it. So I'm using the seventh generation disinfectant spray and then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the scrub daddy paste to finish cleaning and shining the sink. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. I will see all of you guys in my next video. Comment down below and say hi so I know that you were here and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, you guys.